Come on, you cutie. Come on, talk to Joey D. Be my friend. Hon. I'm looking to expand my social circle. What are you saying? You seem like you got a free schedule, man. You just do random goose bits and fuck all else, mate. No, okay, not having it. Sweet. See you later then. I'm, I'm going to do egg whites. It's boring, though, isn't it? I know it's boring, but yeah, and you put. Is this yours? You put. Yeah, it's not right, but it seems to not be getting right at all. No, it's right back. Nah, no, well if it is, I'm fucking over it. I've been waiting no, for that for a no. week. I got this right. Oh shit, did I just dox myself? Dox yourself? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a bed. Sorry. Put the wood in the fucking hole, man. When you show your address, I'll just cut it out, it's fine. That's what you can do. Everyone knows where I live anyway. Every time I go to Asda and do my shopping, I take a picture of it and put it in my Instagram story. And then I get like eight people DMing me saying, bro, so much plastic, so much plastic, bro. Anyway, I used my Amazon Prime for the one time in like ever. I don't know why, Amazon have pissed in me every month, fun. I buy like one thing every like, not often. Ironically, it comes in a fuck ton of plastic and packaging. Wow, they're big, mate. I'm eco as fuck, mate. Right? You got these nets, cause then like, you get all your like, your loose fruit and veg, and you just slam it in there. So, you don't use like the plastic bags or plastic packaging and shit, because I feel like you just got no excuse, man. Sometimes I take our rubbish out and our recycling and I think, this is an obscene amount of use, like. Anyway, so I've got these, so you can also abduct people with them, just like this. Mm. <laughs> so I don't need to abduct Max because she's already here. <laughs> I actually convinced her to be my bird, so. Very little force. All right, I also got more parcels. I got a rise one. Also got a bull part as one. Let's do egg whites. You got, I want a bagel. Are those bagels? Oh, what kind of bagel is it? Well, yeah, I'm sure we got better bagels than that. That's a plain one. That's what I mean, I want to see them raisin. <laughs> Fucking sauce. I don't want any. I thought there's more bagels. Yeah. I'm sure I've got a Oh no, I'll put them back. Just have that one. That one, that one, that one. Cinnamon raisin one's black anyway, it's a conspiracy babe. Cinnamon doesn't exist though. Everything says cinnamon, it smells like cinnamon, but when you taste it, not, there's no cinnamon. That you haven't tasted that. cinnamon in a cinnamon raisin bagel. You're blagging. Put some raisin on that one. Nah, I don't want it. Alright. Alright, what we got? Something for mags, something else for mags. Basically all mags and shit. Mags as well. Bird making gains. That's mine. DCA, so I had apple and raspberry for a change, so boxes. It's just quite well packed, I like this. Vegan protein bars. Alright, that's enough of an unboxing, man. Oh shit, where's my egg whites? I need egg whites, because that's what I'm eating. That's why I was doing this in the first place, mate. Egg whites for brekkie, mate. <clears throat> you know, like, when you transition from when you transition from bulk to cook, and then you have to wave goodbye to egg yolks, man. You don't like, but you definitely have to reduce your intake, man. All right, we're gonna make brekkie. It's gonna be egg whites, and then whatever my bird wants, which one? I don't want anything you've got. 
I'm shit boy for another. Bacon. We got some salads going down. We got a salad. And uh, we got a cauliflower salad from Asalangi. This one. Yes. And Ooh, we've got a hit and shit with the dill so. A butternut one as well. And we've got. And we got a fucking spillage, mate. We've got ruined, right. very expensive pants. From expansive, mate, and they're expansive, they expand a lot. For dessert, I'm gonna show you what we've got. We got raspberries, yeah. Milky bar. I'm gonna melt that milky bar. If you've never tried raspberries in melted white chocolate, then you just can't believe me, mate. Oh, Max's, mate. Do you remember when I used to make it? I remember when you used to make it, yeah, when you used to make Netflix. Mm. I'll just take that. I don't know when you used to give a shit about me. Yeah. That's just fucking... Let's play this shit. Oh. Oh, strawberry. These yeah. strawberries are real, mate. It's very nice. I feel like wine. Well. I, I, I'm just a lightweight. I thought we share everything, though. Mmm. 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 See, when I make juices and smoothies and shit, I'm just gonna love the whole strawberry. Yeah. It feels sick yeah, as fuck. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, that green bit's an offensive one. Yeah, but you need a proper juice though to do that. You can't shoot in a blender. Baby, you can't even tell. Eat the green bit. No. No, you can't even tell. Do you know the uh, juice that they have at that place we saw where they just not put even every there. where they put everything in? It's another conspiracy, babe. You know that juice bar where they put everything in? The only reason you can't taste it is because the juice to get rid of it. Because it's juiced the fuck up, yeah. Well, no, no. my mouth, I've got a human juicer. No, the juicer I am the juicer. discards it. You call me the juicer. No, no, baby. Shit, I mean, they don't call me the juicer. You know, everyone know that was juicer. You know, what's the matter? I don't even know what that means. It means steroids, man. Oh. Your dad looks sick. Nah, not like that. No. Whoa, that's weird, mate. Shredded me. But, but you're not shredded. <laughs> Do most muscular. How'd you do it? That's gonna be me fucking thumbnail. Oh my god, you look like a fucking. What is that? What do you mean, what is that? Fuck me, if you need a drain unblocking. <laughs> fucking Max is here. <laughs> Just a jujitsu black belt, mate. What do you mean? I'm not mean. Right. Everyone, everyone says nice things about you. Everyone say nice things about Max. This is gonna be Max. so nice. These are gonna be nice, right? We've got sprouts going on as well. This is healthy truck. Oh, you made me fuck it up. Oh, you fucked it, lad. It's rude shit, babe. Well done. Well done, you. Oh my fucking lord. Alright, babe, do you want to give us a quick summary of what it is? Um. After you finish that colour thought. Like, mmm. 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 <laughs> you got yogurt in your mouth. Okay, so we got very, very chicken. Roasted butternut squash in harissa with a dairy free tahini yogurt and pomegranate. Some dairy free. No. We've got a cauliflower salad with roasted hazelnuts. No, roasted walnuts, pine nuts, and basically just cauliflower and red onion, chicken and bread. I don't need the ones, so we need the big ones. So the big ones, it. I'm gonna check for the big ones. Babe, I need a cookie. Can I have a cookie? Can I have a cookie? Babe, you gotta get in there, man. Get in there. Grab it. What's this? Quinoa. 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 Take me to the Nando sauce now. <laughs> no shit. It's the A grade. Package one. How you doing? Which aisle do you want? Uh, I don't think I want a pot noodle, so. Pot noodles. Those spicy ones are good though, shin okay. cook. What's it called? Shin cook. I need a, I need a litre of uh, I need a litre of Nando sauce. Damn it. 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 Damn
This way, go. This way. <laughs> oh, what's that? That looks good. Yoshida's. Premium sauce. Premium, lad. They all say premium. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, what is there? There's only medium in there. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Take a medium off your hands. It's a conspiracy anyway, they're all the same. There's no room with this big guy in here. Okay, what else do you need? Ahead! Advance! <laughs> oh, that milk maple syrup's great. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Do you want some? It's quite cheap as well for a litre. Is it yeah. like that? No, no, 8.39. Like, you, don't, you don't get a litre of maple syrup for 8.99. 8. 39. I reckon. Nah, it's a black me. Spice is, I haven't got the storage for that. Wait, I might need something from that aisle. That's a cereal aisle. Is that? Is a cereal aisle. That's in ghosty in me. What does that mean? It means when you push it and let go. <laughs> and just, it's like when you don't want your BMX anymore, you just ghosty it down the hill. Do you? Yeah, we need to go out to cereal aisle. Come on. What do you want to do for us in there? Let me get out. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. See ya! That's the, that completes the fucking... Completes the perfect trio of shredding staples, mate. Fuck broccoli, fuck vitamins, fuck everything. You just need 300 grams of protein per day. 300 mg of caffeine per hour. What? It's a little house? A house for ants. It needs to be at least three times bigger than this. I'm gonna get in. Can I get in? Check it out. Wait, 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 go. Rob, come out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Have a baby just sandwich, just scrambling please. these eggs. Can you fuck? <laughs> All right, let's go. That's fun. Yeah. Oh wow, this looks fun. What's this? The animal is that. Oh, it's a pool pet. What'd you do with it? Take him to the pool and then he's a pet. Tracking's way off. Wow. It's a big ball. <laughs> Seal. Okay, let's just be adults one. Oh, I'll no, play some more basketball. Yeah. Right now, call out Jeff Nippard because he does basketball stuff. Say, Jeff, me and you meet me on the court. So we've got a big hall of cleaning apparatus slash stuff. And paint, mate. Oh, he's here. Are you right handed? Right, yeah. Alright, so you do this edge then, because I'm left, so I'll be like this. Yeah. So I'll start this edge. It's fucking risky, mate. Do you look the right colour? Yeah. Yeah. A bit dark, actually, innit? Yeah, it's darker just because it's wet. It's wet, I'm sure it'll dry. Alright. Oh, what's happening, people? How are we doing? How are we doing? Right, uh, uh, wait there, let me intro this clip when I'm. When it's not just a chin. <laughs> Imagine if I was just, just completely misjudged it and just spot like this for the whole clip, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm in uh, I'm in Birmingham and I was gonna do like vlogger clips, you know, like traditional like vlogger going somewhere clips where you like. Did I just spit beetroot? I think I just spat beetroot. I'm gonna pick it up and then carry on with this clip as normal. I'm not even gonna cut it because sometimes shit happens. Where is it? Okay, it's only a little bit. It's just a little bit, man. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, where you get the shot of like, 
scan your ticket, go through the barrier, everything happens dead quick. Like, train leaving, train out the window, blah, blah. and then I was like, no, fuck it, I'll just go Birmingham and then just appear. So, I'm eating beetroot, by the way, it's from Morrison's, it's not good. Thought I'd try it though. That's an official review. Anyway, tell you what, are good. These are good, mate. The Biscoff biscuits, safe and secure in a fucking jar. There was six of them. But I ate three, and now there's three of them. And I'm still gonna have another because when Mike and Matt, I'm sharing this about with Mike and Matt, when they get here, I'm gonna say, oh look, there's three Biscoff biscuits, it's one each. <laughs> what a nice lad I am. Um, so, I'm just here for body power because none of the, uh, I've mentioned previously, I'm aware, I'm aware of the fact that I say things over and over, by the way. Um, none of my sponsors are going to body power, so I'm just getting myself here. I think same with Matt, same with Mike. I did buy some food to eat. I was just gonna like sit on that table, not on the table, on the chair, at the table. Eat a bit of food, do a bit of work until they got here. But I may not eat that food because Matt messaged me. I'm gonna finish this beetroot in case that happens again. But yeah, I'll just cut this bit of material. So Matt messaged me saying I need to get some food for my video. When when I get there, are you up for it? So Standard, like obviously getting roped into something, so maybe I won't be eating what I got. I just got like berries and shit, man. I'll tell you what, I got a lot of these. That's the most responsible fucking purchase I've ever made, mate. Decaffeinated green tea, that's an appetite fucking buster. 10 ways to bust belly fat. I'll show you the rest. There's some chicken, I want to show you that because it's just chicken in a box. Uh, I got berries mate, two for three quid. Been eating a lot of strawberries, they're fucking nice aren't they? I love strawberries. Alright, so that's it. Their arrival is imminent. So, that's it. I'll pick up soon. I'm, I would do an apartment tour but... Nah. Just standard gaff really. I only really do tours when they make me look sick. So, just live nice places. This is just standard so... Back of it. I hate oh. when there's like a proper spot that, like under the back of it just to like give it nah, a little it's fine, we'll just have weird angles <laughs> it's just just a you nice just do weird it. angles man. you just flip, oh look there's, a, there's lotus biscuits here, three of them you can have one each on let me kind of allow me just to modify this temporarily you've got to modify it okay. that's a completely the fuck up that I haven't just even done it yet it's going to fall off man it's not going to fall off oh, might, how bad is this, off. look at how bad this spot is I literally look like a panda Simeon panda eyes, mate. Simeon Not Simeon panda. panda. Why isn't it staying on? Didn't bulk that hard. What's wrong with your camera? I don't know, maybe you should balance it with a, a little spoon large ball. ladle. And that's completely <laughs> fucked. It's no nice sketchy. We both look disgusting. No nice sketchy setup. Boom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if that falls off, I'm that looks dangerous. I'm removing myself from the area, so I'm not taking responsibility for that falling. Oh, it's far too bright anyway. Um, so between the last clip and this one, we had an Nando's. I didn't film it because it's just like if you want to see like me and Nando's, you can go to the last body power <laughs> or the one before that or the one before that. <laughs> um, oh, oh, Matt's video. You can see Matt t doing no, it, doing a super it. time lapse. I don't need to be in it, man. I don't. I probably, yeah, don't, I probably don't even need to be in my own videos. Why is that bad? Though? That's cleaning supplies. It's not a fridge. I already inquired. The fridge is there. I was like, why have you locked the fridge? I mean, it's like, what the fuck's in there? And she was like, no, it's cleaning supplies. Yeah, there's nothing in there except shit I bought. So. Oh, you bought. There is Biscoff biscuits though. There's one of them going to bed. In fact, you can have two. You know what I mean? You can have mine, man. It's fine. Um. So plan is just hit body power and we actually none of us know what the plan is. I think freestyle it. We got roped into like talking on stage, so we'll probably do something funny with that, hopefully. I don't know. I'll see if I can be funny. I'll try. And then Matt's gonna just try and steal the show. Yeah, yeah. As always. We just say we'll just Ah just <laughs> Imagine if no one comes. Alright, we'll see your body power. Please. I'm gonna refilm that with the spoon and shot. Oh my god, this is a <laughs> You're like an army man, like an old, like a really old army hat, like it, like the ones in Toy Story. Yeah, close enough, so far. Alright, that's the It's warping my head massively. Like. So you break the world, man. Yeah.
can't have a camera with them. I can almost know what we're heading on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're on our way to the NEC to do body power. I'm feeling great about it. <laughs> yeah, boy. Matt's actually fasted right now. For three days of doing it. Yeah, 72 hour fast. Did, did an overnight fast. Matt's actually down. doing Ramadan. I'm doing Ramadan. Yeah, yeah doing Ramadan. Yeah. I'm doing reverse Ramadan. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm eating during the day but not eating overnight. <laughs> Also, look at this spot yeah, on my face. That basically is, yeah. It's not ideal, is it? No, right. Okay. Do one of those transitions. I need to do the transition, do don't I? Oh, wait, there's something on the screen. <laughs> Yes, 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 guys. Welcome down to the fit stage, uh, fitness, influences, and trends. So joining on us on this stage, so guys. Do you want to just quickly introduce yourselves one at a time? So shirt. Hey, I'm Joe. You can call me Shred if you want, but it's just, it was just an Instagram name that went horribly wrong, and now it's five years later, and people don't know my actual name. Right, guys. So how's body power going so far for you? What have you been up to? Terrible. Why? Honestly, it's horrible. Probably the second worst day of my life. <laughs> what was the first? What was the first? Yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's come here because you are quite entertaining people on Instagram and just social media in general. And obviously people look up to you. Is it weird to think that people look up to you and aspire to be like you? Yes. But yes and no. I don't know. I, I think, think that's a strong term, not really. I don't think necessarily that's always the case. If, it, if, it's, if you're just putting content out there for like entertainment sake, it's not necessarily the fact that people look up to you. People could just be passing 20 minutes, son, and that's fine as well. It doesn't really matter. Like people are just watching a video. It doesn't act like you don't have to be. You can just be someone making a video. You don't have to be. Uh, I'm I'm a guy that people look up to, kind of guy. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I agree. You can just be a normal yeah, yeah. dude, man. That's it. I, I see it as like my primary objective is to like be relatively entertaining. Someone watches the video, they enjoy it. That's it, done. You know, yeah. there's no like deep like emphasis on relatively serious. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. <laughs> No, like, you know, hidden agenda. I'm not, like, trying to really desperately motivate people just to do something, like, to pass the time, you know? Do you know when you're putting content out there, though, do you have a strategy in place? Because, obviously, engagement's very important. You want as many people to engage with everything you do. So what? how do you strategize it? What's, how do you do it? I think it's all about getting views at the end of the day. I always try and focus on putting out, like, useful content. That's how I started out with my YouTube channel. But it's, like, trying to make that information digestible and entertaining at the same time because I think I started off my YouTube channel it was quite boring and quite monotonous and I tried to do it a bit yeah, more but like <laughs> you can be that guy though if you want like you just you have to own that you know I think there just there just has to be like value on like value on some level so like we were saying for us a lot of time maybe it's entertainment maybe at the start for Mike it was more informative so there just has to be some reason and purpose behind it and if you get lost in like the whole like like, oh, people just watch me because of me. And that's how you end up showing people shit stuff. Like, oh, now I'm just eating beans on toast. Now I'm going to get me air cut. Now I'm doing, like, monotonous tasks. And then that's that's when you have to quit YouTube, man. Do you know what I mean? That, there has to be an underlying, like, egoless value to it. Like, it's just like, otherwise, you're just wrapped up in, like, oh, everyone's, everyone look at me. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, that's it, right? So, you obviously, primarily, you have to have sick <laughs> they're leaving. This is all good. You have to have sick content. Thanks, guys. Uh, sick content. That obviously under like that's kind of if you haven't got good content, then you're wasting your time. But beyond that, the way you market it and the way you entice people into engaging with your content is like critical. So like people massively undervalue that. So people, yeah, there are people out there that have good like content, but they don't promote. They don't have good thumbnails or titles or whatever it is, and so they're massively selling themselves short. So. To, to some extent, you know, that's that's everything, you know, like because you can have great content, but there might be five thousand other people with equally great content. So you've got to try and stand out, you've got to do something in the way you promote yourself that's gonna make you stand out to draw people in, you know? Yeah, because I'd say you, Matt, in the past year your YouTube channel has literally blown up. Like yes, you are, it has. You are getting Correct. crazy numbers on those views. Yeah. Like what have you done differently in the past year compared to what you do? Just got course? bots, just pay for loads of bots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that's a real no, I'm not really. 
Anyways, um, yeah, so like, I just, I will literally, like, I work backwards a lot of time. So I'll think of a sick thumbnail and a sick video title and then make the video based off that, you know? Rather than some people just go about their day, film a day and be like, oh, what should I call my video? And end up with a terrible title that no one watches. Like, if I haven't got a good title and a good thumbnail, I won't make a video. But like, there are, there are like, awesome activities that I can potentially do that will be very insane, but I can't get a good title and thumbnail out of it, so I won't do it because, what, what, you know, I'm not yeah. going to well, devote my time to it because no one's going to watch it. At the same time, though, I think you, you have to, there is a, a balance to be struck between, like, what will do well and what you enjoy doing. Yeah. Because that's not always the same thing. And if you live your, you live your life just putting out content that you think will do well, then, but you don't have to enjoy any of it. Oh, like, one day you're going to come and suck me and be like, edit in a video and you'll be like, what am I doing? And you'll be like, like yeah, you sure. know what I mean? So there has to be some kind of balance and that can either be like trying to fit that into the same video or you can just do some videos that are like your bread and butter, like your fitness style videos and then ones you know that you might like, they might not really make you any money or, or make you much money, but it's shit you, you actually enjoy and there has to be some level there of like trade-off now. Obviously, where everyone lies on that spectrum, people are comfortable with different amounts of, you know, enjoyment or like, enjoyment versus financial gain. You know, like, the dream is having both, right? Making course, videos that are you're trying to get you closer love, and but you know as you just... get closer, maybe you get a bit more money behind you, you get a bit more freedom and then you can put more of your yourself into your content and develop it a bit more into the avenue that you want to develop it into. Like, once you made, say you like, YouTube blows up, you make a bit of money, and now you're like, right, now I don't technically have to put any videos out for a few weeks. So maybe I can sit here and think, what am I really going to enjoy doing? And then, they're both each end of the spectrum, and eventually, hopefully, you can meet in the middle and be doing something like relatively consistent that is both profitable and enjoyable. Because yeah. that's real world shit. Like some people will just say to you, like, oh yeah, just follow your passion and do your, you know, live your dreams. And but you might, no one's dream is to be broke. Like you, you have to make money as well. And now, what, what level of comfort you can exist at financially? Again, that's that's for every individual to decide. Like when making YouTube videos, what's more important, quality or quantity? Quality, like quality is like 99. In fact, quality is 100 percent. Like, quantity is irrelevant, you know what I mean? Like, it, like when I... You, you have to put videos out at a certain period of time, like at least once every week or yeah. two weeks. Yeah, yeah. so like, like YouTube... Kind of, now, but again, that's just based on, like, actual survival. Like, you need, like, you know, milk in the fridge. I think it hurts you when the algorithm will be going post for too long. Nah, nah, bullshit, man. Like, I've, I've seen... Bullshit. I've seen channels that upload, like, once every two months, once every four months, once every six months. And if there's sick videos, people come back, man. People remember you for your content. Like, if you think like I have to post every day because people are gonna forget who I am, then your content isn't good enough. But if someone can forget about you in a week, then it's shit. But does YouTube that, not that do certain true. algorithms? Yeah, yeah. Well, so, so Joe, that's true, but technical, yeah. But to an extent, right? Because if you had like a me like media content, who uploaded once a month versus two times a week, they're gonna get better views yeah, yeah. because YouTube rewards you for being relatively consistent. Yeah. With, with that said, it like if you're consistent, but you're making shit videos. No one's going to watch you, you know, yeah, so you need to strike a balance, but the, the balance is like 99.9% .9 content. I think, do you know, is it weird that, do you know when you start, first started YouTube and did you ever think you'd be stood on stage talking about algorithms? No. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know how I got here, really. Well, that's what it's come down to now, isn't it? I'm actually lost. That's what it has come down to now, you have to be glued up on what's going on behind the scenes to actually be successful as well on YouTube. Uh, but you, I, I you do, but still, the overriding thing is like, it, again, you could have someone that has no idea, but if they're making incredible videos they're oh. still going to succeed you know that's all that, that's really when it comes down to that's all that matters is how good if your content is like incredible then under any circumstances you're still going to get traction and do well you know you could upload at any time of the day you could have like yeah uh, te terrible like, other variables if your content is great then you will get traction yeah but that's, that's it can it. be an accident as well like there's a lot of luck involved in everything like you know and, and pe people say like you make your own luck yeah to an extent what that what that that phrase actually means is that you can probably outwork average your bad luck but you still can't account for like there are 
lucky breaks that happen, man, and just general stuff that's, you know, you can't always think, right, I did all of this, like, you have to think, well, maybe in some sense, like, I was lucky over here or over there, or got this break, or whatever it was. Do you know when you all put videos together as well? Because we've been talking about this today, it's obviously quite popular for YouTube this year. When you're putting a video together, do you just take the, per put the perfect takes, or do you want to put the mistakes in as well? How do you decide, you know, what, how to mix that up? Well, most of the time you're not going to put all the outtakes in because it will be a horrendous video. Especially if you've got a type of guy to mess up quite a bit. And I mess up quite a bit. But I think every now and then you can throw in a blooper, like, people actually think it's quite funny. Because a lot of people see YouTubers and think they just get it all out in one go and everything's perfect. Which... I do that. But some people, they might be, they might be good at it, but I, I still have to work hard. I make a lot of mistakes. It, it depends on, like, the vibe of the video as well. If you're coming at it very casually, if, you, if it's more, like, vlog style stuff, it's fine, man. You can, it doesn't matter, you can sneeze if you want. Like, people actually do sneeze. Like, that's a thing, you know what I mean? It's okay, like, and you can, you can mix your words up and say the wrong shit and just correct yourself. And it's fine, and sometimes I think that's better because people get a feeling that, like, this guy's, like, relaxed in front of camera. This is how I would speak to him, how he would speak to me if we met each other in real life. And it's just more of a genuine, like, I always feel weird when I watch, like, you see, like, soaps on TV and everyone speaks to each other in this weird way. And you're like, humans don't speak like that, man. You know, humans say stupid shit. And yeah, so, like, like Joe said, a vlog. The vibe, though, yeah. if, it's, if it's, like, cinematic shit, yeah. you don't put the yeah. fucking blooper in yeah. there, man. And if it's, like, an, like, if it's like a sit down, informative video, then you're probably going to hear more towards, like, clean, like, getting across your point in, like, a concise way. But a vlog, like, like Joe's in, like, mine, yeah, like, I can have a vlog that's, like, 30 minutes long, where I might ramble on a bit. But that's fine because people are there to, to to see that, you know. Whereas if, you, if, if it's a if it's a quick like to the point kind of tutorial or whatever, then obviously you can't you don't want to be having like long-winded like yeah unnecessary bits. So what I, what I want to know about for everyone as well, where what's the end game? You know, what where do you want to take this? What do you want to achieve for each year? Take it in turns, Ranta. What's we'll up, you, Matt? Um, I haven't got like a some like crazy master plan, like a short to mid-term goal. I want to get a million subscribers. That will be sick. What are you want right now? Like 530 something. Okay. Right. Everyone, go on your phones now. Subscribe, <laughs> mate. They're already subscribed. These guys are already subscribed. Can share that vibe straight away. <laughs> and so you want to get to a million? Yeah. I want to get to a million subs, then I want to be getting a million views per video. That would be sick as well. I only like 20. That would be sick. 20 That's subs. Fucking still shitload in it. Yeah. What, you uh, want now? what about yourself, Mike? Um, I just want to keep doing what yeah, I'm doing to be happy. Uh, because over the past oh. five years, if you'd asked me five years ago what I'd be doing now, I didn't think I'd be doing this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So like, let's say for example in a year's time, I if I wasn't happy making YouTube videos, I didn't find it fulfilling, I'd go off and do something else. Yeah, that's right. Like I was spending all day, every day, when maybe like four years ago, just training people in person, didn't have a YouTube channel, but I needed to do that, that was like my main source of income, but I lost the love for doing personal training, so I was like, I want to do something else, I want to try and like make more content and try and transition my business online, so it, was, it wasn't easy doing that, but I managed to do it, and by doing that, I was able to spend a lot more time creating YouTube. YouTube videos, so that is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm enjoying doing it. I'm going to carry on doing it for as long as it makes me happy. Yeah, so I, I mean. In a similar sense to that, I don't really have a plan, like, I just started making videos one day and then carried on, and now I'm here, like, I don't really, I'm not a guy, like, literally though, like, sometimes you see people who are, like, in a certain position and it's like, yeah, I visualised this shit, and, like, I told myself that I was going to do this, like, fair enough, that's one avenue, like, I'm just, I'm just here for the ride, like, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry on doing this, like Mike said, I'm going to carry on doing this until I don't like doing it, and then I'm going to be like, well, what do I like doing? and do something else, like, I don't have a, I don't want to take over the world, like, not yet anyway. So. Not yet, that's, maybe next year. Maybe, yeah, yeah. see what happens, on. Yeah. see how much time I've got. What do you do to train your chest? Because people, someone's definitely going to ask this, because they'll probably ask it every single day. Yeah, like, single single arm cable flies, that's all we do. Yeah, all day. <laughs> single arm cable flies. Do you know what, I think a lot of it is genetics, because I look back to when I was like 16 years old and I did have like some form of chest, and all I used to do before I even went to the gym was just do press-ups in my bedroom. She's got a really heavy curtain, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll open up again, has anyone got more questions? Oh, hands are going up now, people are actually getting involved. Here we go. 
Yeah, mate. Yes. Hey, you alright? So the question I've got is, Instagram's talking about getting rid of likes, so how will you combat that as influencers? That will affect a lot of things for you, like, what do you make of your posts and things yeah. like that? So Instagram's talking about not displaying the amount of likes, right, because it has some psychological impact on us all being like, shit, you know, I haven't got made still, does anyone love me? Fair enough, like, that's good for people in general, and, you know, it's good for everyone, I would support it. Now, I don't think that they would impose any change to a platform that is going to drive quote unquote influencers off that platform. Because if they drive those people off that platform, they're also potentially taking away a lot of other attention from it. And so why would they, I can't, can't envisage them doing anything that would particularly like harm it or make it much harder for us to like work on that platform really, you know. I didn't even know they were doing that. Oh, that's um, I know. As, as a grad, like basically I was a graduate last year, um, trying to try, trying to figure it all out still. Um, what would you, you know, can I have some advice in terms of following your passions and what, you know, just how to go about how we're doing that basically? As a what? Say again. Sorry, what are you doing? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I've just graduated right now, working in marketing. Um, obviously, I have a massive passion for fitness. Um, uh, but you know, marketing slash fitness. How does that? How would you say those two sort of go together in terms of following that sort of thing? Mike, speciality. Well, I think first of all, you have to try and figure out what your passion is. And honestly, when I graduated from university, like when I was 21, I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do. I didn't. I don't even think you could have made like a proper career out of social media because it didn't really exist then. So I just kind of jumped from like one job to the next. I was working in Hollister as a manager. I was doing like some work. With promotions and I think what you kind of have to do is work in quite a few jobs to figure out what it is you like doing and what you don't like doing so I figured out that I liked you know setting my own schedule working for myself not having a boss do no work that's what I like and I got a lot of like I enjoyed creating something and making content and like ultimately I realized what I like doing was being at the gym or doing something gym related so it wasn't like literally until three years later where I figured out okay maybe I should try out this whole personal training thing and you know I, my degree was economics and business management and honestly like I haven't really used it at all and <laughs> you don't necessarily have to use your degree but I think the good thing about it is you've done I'm mean, you graduated yeah so you graduated you could potentially use the, those skills and whatever it is that you want to do but you just have to ask yourself what is it that you enjoy doing and, and the thing is like I think there's a lot of emphasis these days on like your passion like there's this one thing that you're all born with and you have to you have to just like introspectively like look at yourself until you uncover the thing like maybe you've got nothing yet like do you know what I mean I don't know what I want to do when I grow up like really dumb and you just have to try shit and like I, used to, I when I graduated decided I didn't want to look at maths anymore ever so I was like well I don't know what I'm gonna do I went and traveled for a bit just bummed around on a beach in Thailand you know just wasting time and, and trying to figure shit out and like there's no one thing there things just come about as a result of trying stuff and trying to expose yourself to like new avenues and the thing is you don't have to be tied to one thing as well if you go start some job in, in marketing or whatever it is try it for a bit man if it's shit stop it man and that's the and that's the I think like the the important thing is cutting things loose when you discover that it's not the one, like, you know what I mean? Do you know when you're filling in a form, what do you put on job title? That is a good question. I generally want to know. I've never had to write my job title in time, really. What would you put? No, I, I, I'm, I'm a, like YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a personal trainer or something like that. I can't really ask with the, like, I just can't be bothered with the complications of it. Man. Even if someone asks me in real life, I'm like, yeah, I'm a personal trainer. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. I was a YouTuber. I just can't be bothered. Is it a YouTuber or erotic roller dancer? Yeah, yeah, well that too, but I try and keep that shit private, like we said. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying? Oh, she started talking, but what are you going to say? Can you roller dance then? Pardon? Can you roll a dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can she sing? No, I actually can. I, I mean, I want to roll the <laughs> No, I genuinely I am. I am genuinely am a very talented roller skater. How did you discover that talent? Um, I like roller skating. Yeah, roller skating. <laughs> and, they, and everyone was like, "You're really good." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm." <laughs> We got a fucking visitor. It's not Al, bro. It's Marine. 
We've reunited after a long time apart, man. It's been like, I think over... It's been months, man. It's been Probably years, man. Most years. It's, been, it's <laughs> actually, actually has been years, man. It must have been skiing. One of years. End of... Nah, you think? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whatever. Anyway, there's nah, no, there's no reason behind it. Illusion, man. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason behind it. It's not a collab, unless it is. We're just chilling. It's not, it's not an intended collab. We're it's just chilling. Just a friend collab. Yeah. Just collaborating as friends, one. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just fucking about. But maybe we'll, maybe we'll plan something sick. So who knows? Okay, we're going to Russia on a road trip. <laughs> so yeah, we're just chilling here, but I'll show you anything worth showing. So yes, yes. also check how majestic has my hair ever been more majestic than that? This is the most majestic thing I've ever seen, right? I'd get with me if I was a bird. <laughs> wow, such majesty. Yeah. Also, this is my new camera. You can't really see it, but it's all right. <laughs> That's the review. Camera review. It's all right. It's my hair.